Good day, everyone. This is Mary Johnson, the Library Coordinator at CSM's Leonardtown Campus. Given our current circumstances, we wanted to share with you a brief overview of the Gale Group Literature Resource Center and how it can easily be accessed from off-campus through my CSMD. The Literature Resource Center, or LRC, is a high-value database for those students enrolled in English 1020. Before we migrated to remote operations, I had a few interactions with students asking about the library and how things might work out. So yes, our databases are fully reachable as always, and you can still talk with a librarian for a research consultation, albeit through email. So when you need help with your research for your CSM courses, please contact us through this email, library at csm.edu. Literary criticisms. People have been telling stories and sharing responses to stories since the beginning of human history. By reading and discussing literature, we expand our imagination, our sense of what is possible, and our ability to empathize with others. Before I toggle out of the slides to demonstrate the navigation toward the Gale Group LRC, let's take a look at a comparison of two typical types of sources for research. This slide is a reminder of how important it is to be discerning when selecting the sources you use. In short, magazine articles provide information for a general readership, and in contrast, scholarly journal articles provide information for scholars and professionals, scholars reporting on their scholarly work. Instructors value information provided in scholarly journals because of the rigorous examination the work must withstand before it reaches publication. If possible, Choose to use scholarly journal articles as your sources for your research assignments. Now, let's take a look at how easy it is to log in to the databases from off campus. First, you sign in to your MyCSMD, and on the welcome page, sometimes called the landing page, you scroll to the bottom to find links for library access. Click Library Databases. Click Gale Group. Select Gale Literature Resource Center or the Gale in Context biogra bio Biography to give you biographical information on your author. All right, so let me toggle into, as you can see here, I've logged into my MyCSMD. And what I'm going to do is scroll down to see the links for library access. Click Library Research Databases. Scroll past a wonderful database, ProQuest. Scroll past EBSCO, right down to the Gale Group. As you can see, we subscribed to a number of Gale databases because they provide stellar product for the academic libraries. So we're going to open up the Gale Group. As you can see, there's a number of, of these databases that you can select from. The first one I would select would be the Literature Resource Center. But again, I want to remind you about the Gale in context. Sometimes the life story or biography of an author can really tell you a lot about their work. So that is another option for you. But today we're going to focus on the Gale Literature Resource Center. So I'm going to open that up. Now once I'm in here, my recommendation would always be to look for the author first. So I'm going to look for, for example, Edgar Allan Poe. Let me move this over a little bit so you can see that it will populate for me to find Edgar Allen. I can open that up. And once inside, you'll see the very first thing is, in this case, over 2,400 different articles that are considered literature criticism. That is an, 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 an amazing number of, of them. But sometimes you would like to take a moment to filter the results that you find by the name of the work. And you have that option here on the side. I can select to apply a filter by the name of the work that I'm interested in. Let's suppose I'm interested in looking for information about the fall of the House of Usher, the short story. I can select that. To specifically look, oops, to specifically look for information in that database that is about this specific work, and I can apply that filter. Boom, 
And then, now I know that all of these literature criticisms specifically mention information about the fall of the House of Usher. So that is the basic way that one would yeah. use the database from home. I've given you a slide here as a reminder of some sample searches using that database about Edgar Allan Poe and William Shakespeare as my examples. So all of that will work well in that database. Again, when you're using the LRC, you will find that the articles there are from scholarly journals and will be valued by your instructor. So I hope this information was helpful to you. Remember, the CSM library staff is here for you during this unusual circumstance, so please allow us to help you a little bit with your research assignments. We think you'll be happy that you did. Stay healthy, folks.